As we talk about algorithms, we're going to talk about two costs. The first is step complexity, and the second is work complexity. So as an example here, we have eight elements that we'd like to combine using this tree style structure. And so we're going to try to characterize the number of steps that it's going to take us to do this computation, as well as the total amount of work. So first we're going to look at the number of steps. We see that it's going to take us three steps to finish. This first step here will do four operations. The second step can be done in parallel with two operations. And then the third step is a final operation to get a final result. But we can also count the total amount of work that we've done here. We've done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven operations. So we'd say the step complexity is three, and the work complexity is seven. So we'll compare the step and work complexity of the parallel implementations that we develop against the step and work complexity for a serial implementation. And one more piece of terminology, we will say that a parallel algorithm is work efficient if its work complexity is asymptotically the same, so within a constant factor, as the work complexity of the sequential algorithm. Now, if we can reduce the step complexity in our parallel implementation compared to the serial implementation, while still having a reasonable work complexity that isn't too expensive, we expect that this will lead to faster runtime overall. So the real key here is to formulate the most efficient parallel algorithm, and that's the focus of this lecture and the next lecture.